Even though, actually, funnily enough, there are other teams that are good. I think we should just do the obvious KT part. Even though we could go straight to hand, we're like, just because, let's be real, like, if you think of the history of the LCK, KT has nearly always been a contender. They had that, like, one year with BDD, basically, it was kind of whack, but it was also not a very good roster if you go and look at that. There's a reason why this team is always up there. And obviously, the saddest thing, if we look at this roster, is they did go from, literally, as Brendan says, by the, by the logic of the LCK fans, they had the five best players in the LCK. They didn't, but that's just the way that they think if you're number one, etc. Now, they didn't keep me nearly any of them because if you don't know, they, they kept BDD, that's it. What they did is they got Deft and Beryl is the bot lane. Now, we can get to this. Why that bot lane's being recreated, I don't know. Like, at this point, I, me, me, Beryl must have just like, I don't know, fucking sit, pulled Deft out of a burning car or something. I don't know how that got happened. And then they brought back Pioshik from Team Liquid because world's winner of that. You know, I, Again, well, there's a lot of memes hiding behind this roster. And then the top player is Perfect, who is like, wasn't he like some sort of like a challenger player or something, Brendan? He got like, I think he's got promoted or something, right? Yeah, yeah he's a cha- he was a challenger player. Um, what do you think of this roster? Was- he wasn't even... Oh, he wasn't like a top, top like, prospect necessarily, right? He was like yeah. top five top right. laner. He was good, but he wasn't... I mean, he wasn't the best. Right. He's a flipper. He just fl- he flips so okay. matchups. Yeah, he, actually, he, needs, he needs to learn He needs to learn matchups. Like, someone genuinely needs to teach that man matchups. It's ridiculous, the flipping that he does. And if you've got a team with Deft on it and BDD, the last thing I want is some cunt in top lane <laughs> flipping matchups. Like, I'm sorry. That's some amateur <laughs> fucking rookie dickhead just flipping the entire, like, lit game before Deft can, like, start painting his masterclass. I can't handle it. I, another year of it. Uh, plus, I've got Beryl, who might just, like, be on a phone game midway through, like, and just, like, lose <laughs> it all as well and then they've decided to invite fish lips back from for the jungle just to the creme de la of impossibly bad players of one world like when i watch you watch that lc when i watch that world's final it's unbelievable how many smites that he misses it's unbelievable okay. how bad he plays in that world final and then wins and then the players in that are hugging him and shit after that, and i'm just like Bro, hug him i was like i mean <laughs> Even though I've won just worlds, I'd actually be on the leak line and writing out the report. By the way, like for game five, okay. just like missing, like getting <laughs> smited by the battle. But, but I, I can't know. lie, that would be pure banter if someone won worlds, but it's stopped on the PC instead of celebrating. It's submit a report for their jungle, like <laughs> grief in the gear. Because I wonder if you can do that through the tournament client. I don't think anyone's ever checked if you can. But like that would be banter if you did do that. Fair play for like Zeke or when you did that. Like this guy, you need the fuck out of me. Like then just press enter, send, send, send report or whatever. What? By the way. Here. Here's the thing. If we start off with this one, I have to question quickly for Brendan again. I have to like check the Korean scene. Mm. Just like the Lehens question, mate, what is the perception of Beryl in Korea? Because I mean, <laughs> on my shores, dude, he's another one of those players that if you're from the West, he's kind of a meme. Like we we sort of like yeah. think like, was he ever like for me, he was never ever the best support. Like He's maybe like top half sometimes. I don't know. I, I, I kind of think he's overrated. But then again, I don't know what. It's just some like, th- there's some perception that he's, if people don't know, as far as I know, Brendan, people actually perceive it that like he's the one who started like a lot of the Kerry shit, right? And did the weird picks and stuff, right? Is that what the people, what's the, what's the feeling career? Because it seems like he's pretty hyped. He, I think his reputation is that he's just a little bit of a outsider. You know, he doesn't really... Uh, mesh with everybody okay. you know, kind of has its own view of the game and stuff like he definitely that. has swag I'll give him that he seems like he's got a very strong yeah. opinion yeah and we can kind of see that in some of the games when he does some very questionable things uh, <laughs> that doesn't make any sense right we're watching we're casting we're like what in the fuck is this guy doing right but we can't say that on the broadcast no, no. obviously but, um, it happens multiple times over the course of the regular season and we're just like what, what is he doing is he trolling like why Why is he playing like this I do but, appreciate by the way say, especially if you cast the LCK you can't really be like what the fuck is he doing you have to be like I'm not sure this is the optimal player for the jungle yeah. in this moment like, I, I love it I love it <laughs> go on very sarcastic yeah. exactly we're, we have a, a lot of leash on the LCK at least um, but yeah the, I will say that Beryl did have the one season which was summer 2020 where he was quite good and I think it was, I, I always talk about this, it was MSC because it was... Um, oh, the online one, yes. And they played against China and they got absolutely, like, just, like, destroyed. It wasn't close. All the Korean teams kind of yep. got wrecked. And Beryl, in interviews after that, he was, like, that kind of, uh, you know, inspired Stop. him to, to practice and to... He was a hater, you know, he was waking oh, up at 6 a.m. Okay. He was like practicing so much. Oh, he said that he was practicing every day, like 14 hours, like going crazy. And that was his best form. 
after that, I think he kind of just, you know, he's kind of just floating around like a leaf in the wind and he's still good. Like he has the ability, but he just doesn't show it because I think in the games, uh, he's doing very questionable things that can lose his team's uh, very big leads that they have or, you know, it, it's very questionable for sure. And I think that he does have kind of that um, reputation now in Korea where oh, right. like, you never know what to expect with this guy. Like he could right. make a good play, but more often than not, nowadays it's like, right. you really know. And I'm sure, you know, I didn't go into the Korean forums when it was released, but I'm sure that especially for Def, someone who has like so many fans and now he's playing with Barrel this year after what has been like a good, you know, yeah, yeah. years. It's like a lot of people definitely were kind of shaking their heads, questioning. Like, oh, right. I'm actually why, surprised why, by that. Why yeah. Because I was thinking this <laughs> was going to be choices. like, I was thinking yeah. this was going to be like the hen situation and people just have a different perception of him. But actually, I guess in this scenario, it must just be that he's a popular person. Like, that's why people like, I guess they're meme hyping him, right? Pretending he's the best, like when he was doing the world's draws, being like, oh my God, the, the genius barrel or whatever. Like, like fair enough. Okay. He's that's actually interesting. Right. Apparently, Kiri, the fans agree with you. They wanted Def to have a better lane no. support. Here's the thing, I, it's really weird. I can remember, this is like a strange one, this was maybe like 2022 or 2021, where Lahens and Beryl were considered like scrim gods by the LPL oh, teams. Okay. Like, they were considered like, LPL teams, like even on like the Ping would want to like scrim the teams just because that like, Lahens and Beryl were like breaking their minds of like okay. some of the stuff that they were doing. But, and the thing is, is like, to talk about players, players like uh, Beryl, and like absolutes, like doesn't really colour you like a the correct picture. Where Beryl is like a problematic player, and he has very defined like strengths and weaknesses. But when he's on like the right environment, where his weaknesses aren't as a problem, like for example, you pair him with Death, who's like arguably one of the best laners still in LCK, candidate for the best ADC of all time. Very rarely makes like any mistakes. Almost like the hallmark like body of like what you would want any ADC to be then all, it tends to be more of his strengths come through than any of his, like, given weaknesses. Because, you know, you can end up having to pinch a bunch of barrels, like, annoying support picks and, you know, stuff like that. And the, the, the problem with me is any team that has BDD and Deft on it, right, you instantly are looking at a team that should be looking to win LCK and then looking to, like, go to Worlds and make deep runs at Worlds or trying to be one of the best teams of the year, okay? And then you fill it with three players who, for me, are not going to be able to, like, carry that vehicle and, like, going to be able to bring that, like, into motion. Um, you know, Dwe Death's in the twilight years of his uh, career. Um, he's, he didn't win, like, an Asia medal, medal, so he does have the military service clock, like, oh, right. to the best yeah. of my knowledge. And as such, like, he doesn't have, like, the frugality to be wasting years, in my opinion, on, like, projects like that. I think that's teamed directly worse than KT from last year. And... It's kind of really sad that, like, for me, BDD basically had, like, a second feather in his caps, like, a resurgent year. I think his laning was, like, impeccable. I think he enabled so much of the special speciality team comps, particularly, like, the TF um, on, like, KT, and he was a fantastic mid laner. You know, it doesn't have to do, you know, you don't have to just be better than, like, Chovy for me sure. to, like, say you're, like, good. He was, he was great throughout the year. And for me, I just look at this KT, and to, it just looks like a waste of BDD and death time. And it's just a complete misallocation of resources. I'm actually super disappointed in this like team's construction. I think the problem is is with those two players in the back line, and it's not even like the other ones are going to be bad. You can only you know you you can only be so like terrible. But I don't think there's anything here to even like challenge JNG. I, I definitely don't think there's anything here to challenge like T1. Um, and they could end up actually fighting it out in like the middling pack versus some of the other teams. I don't think there's anything here to say that they're going to get like third or fourth, like guaranteed. They could end up be like a struggling middling team, which is fucking tragic if you've got those players on the team. The main problem for me with this team is I sort of agree with you. Like, if people don't know, this is this is a team that is an, the ultimate test of if you actually watch the LCK regular season. Because if you watch the LCK regular season, you will know that like it doesn't matter that D plus couldn't have. By the way, they couldn't have done anything at Worlds. It wouldn't even have mattered if they'd have made the round of eight. They would have probably lost to almost everyone except an RG. But basically, like that wasn't a good team. But Deft was really good on it, believe it or not. He actually was. The 
the joke is he was better on D plus than he was on fucking DRX when he won worlds. Like he actually was pretty good last year, but he wanted to watch the regular season and just just bottle in to see it. And then BDD because obviously like people will think ah oh, they did bad in the playoffs of LCK and worlds. Like he wasn't even the reason by the way that they did badly. And BDD was awesome in the regular splits. Like he was probably even underrated. He was really good as mid. So these two players, I agree with you, Kim. They are two of the absolute best you can get in the LCK, even though their names maybe suggest to a fan who only watches worlds like oh that's from years ago. They're good. No, no, these two are mega right now. The problem then is the players like Beryl and Pioshik, yeah, I know they've only won Worlds like, you know, one and a bit years ago, but the joke is we don't really give them like the same credit for winning Worlds as the greatest teams anyway. Like even at their peak, no one gives them. A... And I have to say, as someone who's watched Chovy's whole career, one of the most painful periods was when Pioshik was his fucking jungler. Like this guy was one of the worst I've ever seen for like, flip but the, it's not like you flip and you either win or lose the game you might win if you get the heads on the flip if you get the tails you definitely lose he would have some games like that that were like nightmare games him and Morgan everyone knows used to fucking in that guy so hard when Chovy was like already the best farmer so I'm just worried in this sense like this just looks for real like one of those moves where I always say the problem with esports is it's not like traditional sports because in traditional sports your level tends to be pretty consistent and you can have like a 20 year career so the problem is if you tell someone oh but I would support a jungle one worlds in 2022 in sports that's fine that's only a few years ago maybe they could be the best like one they weren't the best when they won anyway and then two in esports t- a year or two years ago maybe five years ago sometimes like people really do just drop off and come up to different and that uh, form is like that it's kind of crazy in this game it's why actually when people like Faker can maintain any form for that long they don't even have to be the best at the end just to do it for 10 years is mental and to be on a, on a tier one LCK team like, if you look there's only like death on the side for him doing it and then, by the way you could even argue of the two positions it's way harder to do it as a mid laner in my opinion than ADC ADC really is sort of a similar role and it is somewhat on the rails in fact you can even I'd even say ADC is the least blamed if you don't carry because you can go the team didn't set me up I didn't have items if you're the mid laner there's no excuse you just start farming from level 1 mate if you're the best you're the best so there's a reason why the ADCs don't get the criticism that fuck, Ruler did, never got the criticism that or Viper that fucking Chovy did I'll tell you that boys no matter what happened to their team so I'm just scared for this team because I feel like on paper someone might get tricked into thinking this is actually going to contend and maybe even like has a dark horse chance to win whereas I'm with you I actually think for real there's probably even a world where this team could place below like one of the the teams that isn't even that good on pit they could come like fifth off something like that like I think that's even plausible yeah, I, I actually, I, I'm, I'm kind of scared for KT. Even though you know normally the the danger is to get excited for them, I'm actually scared that they'll just be bad this season. I'm really worried because I agree with you, Kira. If this is the last year of like Death's career, kind of a whack way to go out. Surely you could have had one last run, you know, especially after the D plus year. Valdez, why is Thanatos a free agent and not on a team? I wish I had the answer to that. I oh, could, uh... That's the pickup. <laughs> At the end of the day, KT should have chopped off both their arms, right? No chopped sense. off, like, Perfect's arms, right? So you can't play any more League of Legends, right? And they go get Thanatos. And th- that... Because he was mega he hyped, like... if people don't know, right? He was, like, the person yeah, yeah, he yeah. said was going to be yeah. the shit, right? He or you can insanely go... good. Yeah, exactly. He was insanely yeah. good. Like, if you watch Challengers, he was playing against those players, and he kind of <laughs> looked like, okay, I'm just... He almost looked like, uh, you know, like a 10-year-old playing with 8-year-olds. Right. right. Like, oh, I'm just, Throwing everyone you know, about the gym. Like, like, more developed you guys. Like, I'm just going right. to win this game, right? And it was really exciting, right? I'm just happy we got Lucid. We'll talk about him, I'm sure, yeah. in a little bit. Um, because he was like the other one guy from yes. Challengers that everybody was like, please, Lucid, like, get him in here. Yes. So we were expecting Lucid and Thanatos to at least play in a major region. And yeah, yeah. Get Lucid. Where's Thanatos? That's a great question. Ian took another job from a world. Mate, mate, these, I'm telling you something. These fox at DRX, right? The one, they have made a, a, a killing off of winning that one world, by the way. <laughs> true. Let me tell you. It's actually unbelievable. There's another check to in this league. It's effort. And he makes an absolute living having been on T1. Sure. Because that man yes. stepped foot in the T1 office, right? And he wore a T1 jersey. He is somehow still allowed to play in the LCK, right? Dude, but you know what's like, crazy, k Is no one ever says he was really good on T1. They just say he was on T1. You you're right, they just exactly. say that line. They do just say that line, you're right. So I, I, I'm like so done. And to me, like, I think we're all kind of in agreement. Like, you look at this KT roster and it's like uh, you know, what could it's like a, a what could have been. You know, I can live with Beryl being on the team, by the way. Because Be- as I said, it's like Beryl isn't just like strictly like bad. Okay. It's just he's got like clear strengths, clear weaknesses. It's just more frustrating to watch than anything else. Whereas like at a LCK tier one level, I, I actually don't think perfect and Foshek are really acceptable, to be honest. Um, and I think qu- very quickly this team's going to realize they're somewhat like going to be like wasting their time, unless like 
for some strange or unknown reason, this LCK rookie top just gets like 10x better every 10 months and just starts gobbling up like experience. But I don't know. I, I don't think that's going to happen looking at like he's pedigree. So I don't know. I, I'm just fucking sad about KT, to be honest. I mean, I, I would assume, I, I don't know what the other guys uh, on the, you know, the LCK casters think. I was talking a little bit with uh, Chronicler about it, but yeah, not super high on KT Rolster. I, I kind of agree with like the, they even have the potential to fall to like fifth place because yeah. BDD and Deft, great in regular season. Beryl and Pioshik, awful in a regular season. <laughs> yes. Like it, it's, it's so crazy. The, the, the difference between two players between yes. the others and then perfect, of course, is just like a wild card. You don't know what you're going to get. Maybe he does 10 X or maybe he just is the same player and he flips and we have some players like that in the LCK as well, where it's like, okay, well, you're good. You obviously have the hands and stuff, but you, you don't have any brain. You just kind of like go all in. And sometimes you, you make a super play, but sometimes you just get wrecked and you're just invisible. So I think that perfect will be that guy. I think he's just going to sometimes be like, Whoa, this guy, he's got some hands. Like he's really good. You should watch challengers. And then other days it's like, please don't, what you know like <laughs> don't remember he was a challengers player because i don't i don't know this guy so i am worried because if perfect pioshi and Bl- barrel are all here and kind of just like I wandering get- about in regular yeah. season bg and Deft they they can't carry it alone i mean maybe they will some games against like the lower half but yeah i think there is a very good chance that some better formed teams as a five-man unit will beat kt rolster at least one out of two times in a regular season in a double round robin so I am worried for this team. If they do make it somehow to like playoffs or even like worlds or an international, like maybe Pioshik and Barrel just kind of put on their, okay, we've done this before hats and sure. kind of change into Get that buff, other player that buff. we know is yeah. possible. Yeah. Otherwise I, I don't really see them having that much lasting success. So it is kind of sad for sure. Perfect is bad summit. There you go. I found the perfect analogy. Perfect is a bad oh, version no. of summit. There you go. And summit was, I mean, he was good, but he wasn't even that. Great. Yeah, and that's, yeah. I'm just talking about in terms. He of means like it when he's in liquid as well. Yeah, yeah Andy, like, Andy's not. Yeah. Here's the difference. We all loved the Sandbox Summit. <laughs> the problem is that guy's gone, and whoever team Liquid Summit and Cloud Nine Summit say we can't get rid of that guy. He's just he won't leave the house. So I all loved all top lane ever, or change beyond two and a half picks for some reason. I don't. Know. What's mad is I love top laners, but like, what's weird is you've noticed that's the only one key. I've never really got all in on of the ego top laners because this is a reason why. Is there, it's not 2013 anymore. You can't only play top lane. You have to fucking you have to group of she into a flank mate so to see more cool funny interesting clips based on topics from my content well subscribe to this channel then or you know be a pleb and don't